Hi, I'm Dr. Brittany Kamai. Today I'll be talking about the benefits of asking questions. So oftentimes when someone's speaking and a question pops in your head, you evaluate whether or not you should even ask this question out loud. And I will say, yes, you should definitely ask the question. So there are so many benefits um, and I will go through a list of some of them. So first and foremost, you are learning something. And this is what we get to do in conversations is that we build off of uh, things that we know with the new person's information and we get to create new things. So you should definitely <laughs> for that very reason, ask questions. The other thing is that you start building relationships. So if you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation and you start asking questions, you start to learn how is it that you communicate with each other when you get into territory that you don't really understand each other yet. Uh, so it really is building that relationship with the speaker. Um, if you're in a big uh, seminar series, uh, you're also building a relationship with the speaker and kind of seeing like how they'll um, address your questions. Um, and, and another thing is that they might uh, want to chat with you afterwards. So at one of my very first um, physics conferences, I asked a question to the speaker and they answered to the best of their abilities on their feet. And afterwards they asked if, um, we wanted, if I wanted to chat more about my question and they invited me to a meal with uh, the rest of the research group and I got to learn way more than I even thought I would from that initial question. So that is a way that you can build relationships. Um, and another way that you're, you're building relationships and you don't even realize it is with other folks in the room. So there have been times where I asked a question and um, it wasn't fully answered by the speaker. Um, and on my way out, um, I've been stopped by other folks to say, hey, did you, did you get an answer to that? And, and sometimes I'll say no. And they'll offer their uh, advice or expertise to understand that concept. And I've, I've built um, awesome relationships from people I meet on my way out um, from a session that I've asked a question in. So a third thing that I'll bring up is that you get to be a catalyst for other folks asking questions. So there's been a lot of times people came up to me and said, you know, um, I'm so thankful you asked that question because I had the same one and I was too scared to ask and hopefully in the future I can ask it. Or I've had people tell me that the reason they asked a question is because I did it first. Um, and that's really exciting to me um, that I could be that catalyst for change. Uh, so go for it. <laughs> Um, and then another thing, and I didn't quite realize this at the time, is that you can kind of uh, change uh, social hierarchies. Um, so when I was a, at the University of Chicago, I was in the Kavli Institute for Cosmological Physics, and we had this amazing Friday seminar. And I loved it because all the speakers would come in and talk about the latest research in uh, cosmic microwave backgrounds or dark energy and dark matter and like how we're going to understand and measure the universe. And I was, I don't have all of these questions, but for the most part, be too scared to ask. So then I started fig trying to figure out why I was so intimidated by this. And I started realizing that all of our seminars had this stratification to it. The faculty sat in the very front, and then the postdocs, and then the graduate students, and then the undergraduates. So if you were a graduate student, you'd be all the way in the back. And so if there was a time that I got up the nerves to ask a question, I, when I was asking my question, 60 people would kind of turn their head and look at me, which only adds to the terror as you're asking this question. So I was like, this needs to change. So I started coming earlier and sitting towards the front which I was greeted with open arms from the other faculty who started chatting with me and so I got to build relationships with them. And it also kind of disrupted where everyone else sat in the room. So some faculty were in the back, um, some students were more in the front, and with the faculty who were further in the back, then it was, the questions were coming from different places in the room, so it opened up the questioning arena. Um, so yeah, it was really amazing to see that transformation from just sitting in different places and starting to ask questions. 
So I wish you the best on your question asking journey. Um, and I will tell you that in my entire life, no one's come up to me and said, Brittany, that was a dumb question. And if they did, I don't even know what I would say. But it just doesn't happen. I think we just have this fear that people are going to come up and be like, you're stupid, get out of here, that's dumb. No. In fact, it's the opposite, right? People start opening up to you, you have conversations, and it's awesome. So uh, I wish you the best at doing that. And if anyone comes up to you and tells you that's dumb, let me know. And I will talk to them and tell them that's inappropriate and just take care of the situation. So do it. Go out there. It is it's amazing. It's just going to be so amazing when you ask these things. So I wish you the best of luck. Take care.